bitches. Oh yeah. Welcome back <laughs> to the Gentleman's Den. Uh, it's going to be another one of those weeks, folks. Hope you're ready for this. Woo! To my left, Frankie. To my right, Jeff. And we got a fucking guest in the house tonight. Our boy Dylan came in to shoot the shit with us. Dylan, what's up, bud? Dial on, guys. What's Welcome. On? One of the top, Thanks for having me. One of the top five rappers of all time. We're Dylon. Say it. Dylon. Let's hear it. Dylon. 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 Dylon and Dylon. Why? Because he, he spits hot fire. <laughs> right now, Chappelle's going to be suing you oh, guys. 100%. Oh, yeah, right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're getting sued by everybody. He's talking about when I was great. Those uh, assholes. Oh, man. Jeff, you got an impression of a Chappelle? Could you do that one? Can't do it. I any. want you to go down to Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. I don't I take a picture of a midget holding, holding these, these balloons. <laughs> then I want you to get some real Cambodian breast milk. <laughs> I don't think you sound like a little. I, you would have to get like. Well, that was a, that was no that was a oh. sultry P Diddy. Yeah. When Dave Chappelle did P Diddy. I want to hear you do Dave Chappelle. Where him and his natural. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, motherfucker. Yeah, there we go. That's more. Uh, that's more what I was thinking of. Uh, how we doing, fellas? I feel. Fucking amazing. Guess what Give I'm doing. Animals. What are you doing? 75, 75, 75? I'm doing, uh, went to the gas station. Oh, God. Bought a four pack of <laughs> Pop Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and he's putting them in his foreskin. No, I'm not doing that. Absolutely not. <laughs> Frankie's thinking about committing suicide tonight because he has a open thing of Pop Rocks and an open container of Coca-Cola. I like whiskey and Coke. You know, they go together. I don't know. I heard Pop Rocks and Coke. Don't get don't crazy, bro. Stay no, from my Pepsi. I heard it's suicide. The fizz, the fizz will kill you. Is, is this really gonna happen? All right, we're all gonna take our pop rocks. Right, this we're gonna down this guys. whole bag and, and talk. We're doing pop, pop rocks. rocks yeah. I'm, <laughs> skipping the pop ro- I'm skipping the pop rocks. I'm skipping the pop rocks. How dare you? Skip. This is Why what we're doing late? right now. Can we get the gurgle on the microphone so Let's see if it picks it up? Hold uh, on. Uh, it, it, I'm just. I'm not doing sugar, man. I'm trying to lose weight. Oh Jesus Christ! Let's go, Matt. Ooh, wow. <laughs> wow, I can hear that really yeah, good. Yeah, it, it sounds like we're sitting in a bowl of Rice Krispies right now. <laughs> I swear to God, this is what Snap, Crackle, and Pop here right before you put the spoon in your mouth. I can't. Oh. so much. This is podcast gold right now. This is so much. <laughs> <It's so tough. laughs> This is a great way. <laughs> Three minutes into the podcast, we're already off the I fucking wanted, rails. I, to stop on I thought we were going to do this later. Why is There's it not blue stopping? Red. It's still I'm going. Drink, I'm gonna I know. Popping. I'm going to drink the Coke. When's the last time you guys had some Pop Rocks? 20 years. <laughs> I want to the old variety. Uh, it's still popping. Why still, take a drink of your Coke, for, Randy. Am no, I don't commit suicide. How dare you? Die? <laughs> don't do it. I'm I'm so do it's an urban legend, bro. <laughs> we're we're, no, we're pop testing rocks urban coke. legends right now. Frankie, drink that Coke so your stomach explodes. Drink it. Oh, my God. He's cold fired. Oh, God. Pop Rocks and Coke. A cola. <laughs> Not real Coke. It's Not like my popping. father did back in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo Escobar had nothing on him. Is it still popping? I wanted to stop popping in my head. My dad was basically. Have you ever seen that movie American Made? <laughs> that was your pops. That was my dad. I often wonder because my dad. Uh, he was a pilot, wasn't he? He loved cocaine. And he uh, owned a plane. <laughs> yeah, he was a pilot. So I often think, I was like, maybe. Maybe that American Made movie was based off my father. Yeah, no, it, but it wasn't. The, the, the American Made movie is actually based on a real guy. So you knew your dad, huh? I wish I had that pleasure. Yeah, until <laughs> I was 10. Let's just get dark. Let's, <laughs> Let's go real, real dark. dark. Let's real go quick. real dark early. Come on, Dylan. We talk facts around here. Yeah. Just go down that fucking rabbit hole. No. no. You and your uh, vortex. No, I knew my father until I was 10, and then he he's playing the light. The longest game of hide and seek. No, he went man. to go get cigarettes and never came back. Never came back. One of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. Jeff's going for the rest of the round of pop rocks. <laughs> Whoa, there he goes. Hey guys, am I gonna die? How do you feel, Frankie? Not uh, pretty I've... fucked up from the edibles, but would you stop that popping in my ear? 
I feel like it's in my mouth when I don't have any. Right, me like too. I, said, I, 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 feel I feel like I'm sitting in a bowl of fucking Rice Krispies I right thought, now. I thought it was still happening to me. I could just Black gun and pop rock. So, <laughs> Dylan wasn't here. <laughs> Dylan, when I when I did that 100 milligram, when we were all in the same... Yeah. you. Uh, Sorry, guys. I, and I just on disappeared. The yes. I had to. And I'll tell you why. To. Because Frankie kept repeating himself over and over again. Said the same I fucking... I don't do that. Yes. He... Tell me he did not do he that. He did. He was repeating the same four words over and over again. And then there was shit going on in the background at your house. Shit was getting knocked over. The yeah. dogs walking around. Dogs, kids. I fucking crazy. had to take my headset off. <laughs> I was geeking you out. I love it. I repeating what? Losing. Four words of what? I love foreskin? No, he was he was saying, like, I'm so high. I'm so high. Or I was, was so high. What I the remember fuck? Frankie said he was rubbing his face. And he, yeah. he, just, he just went kept numb. Saying he was like. Guys, remember when that happened? A couple I weeks can't ago? feel my face. I was rubbing my face here, and it was just like over and over. I did it for like but twenty he, minutes. But didn't the weekend have a song? I can't feel my I face. I can't feel my face. When Stop I'm singing. Like... We're gonna get sued. <laughs> <laughs> there we finish. go again. Now Chappelle. Oh, Chappelle suing us. The weekend. We're fucked. I'm just admiring their greatness. No, what I'm saying you though just is, just had to change one note. I had yeah. like I vanilla have, ice did. I had my headset <laughs> on. And Frankie just kept repeating himself, and it was like that scene in Super Troopers where the guy's in the back seat, and he hears the little kids <laughs> laughing, and shit, when he's all fucked up on the mushrooms. He's not very like schnozzed. Schnozzed. Yeah. I am freaking out, Where it was man. just cool. littering and, littering and, littering and. We're going to see you while you guys smoked the whole bag. Please, Please no. no. Such a great movie. <laughs> I love Classic. the second one too. Classic. I haven't seen the second. I Dude, the good. second one's hilarious. Is it? Oh, it's I so have good. To see it. Will it's Sasso all right. It's fucking hilarious in that. It's, it's all right. Okay. <laughs> These it's guys okay. love it. Yeah. Yeah. I- it's well, dude, it was it was too late. It was like yeah, it, Dumb it and Dumber was the fucking the greatest comedy of all time. But the, and then the it took second too one, long. But the second one was dog shit, though. Yes, I haven't was. seen that it one either. So too long. Bad. The I've best part was Funnel Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> funnel Nuts. <laughs> it was so bad. Want to play a game? It was bad. It was so bad. You know what though? Uh, we were talking I about love Ron Jeff, Jeff buying a Supra. If I don't, I, all our fans should know. Jeff. This is this is like I'm the getting a Supra, but guys, podcast we've been talking about the Supra. Shit. Bought one. It's about three inches fucking big. <laughs> I got a, some drone. A, I got a, some drone footage. It's a one eighth size of the original. <laughs> one day you'll get a real one, but uh, I think Fast and the Furious pretty soon here in the next couple of years is bringing it back to like where they're going to go in the Never. 90s. No. Oh, yes. No, they're strictly, Never. they're going straight to time travel. No, I think it'll be, maybe even. They already have the bionic, bionic men. In the new one. In the new one. Right, so they, and Shaw. right, they just took off. Yes. That's a, that's a spinoff of Fast and Furious. I guarantee Fast and Furious 10, they go Hold back on. in time and save Paul Walker from crashing his Porsche into that tree. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Back to the Future. Vin Diesel like goes big. back in time and saves Paul Walker. I'll watch Back to the Future. <laughs> Paul, don't get in that car, that bro. Bro. There's another man. lawsuit right there. Vin. Oh, God. We're so fucked. Another fun. lawsuit. We're I fucked. I love how bro. he was so into sharks. We're fucked. Huh? We're so Paul fucked. Walker. He was into sharks and shit. He was a cool fucking Yeah, he was a surfer. Yeah, Paul, Paul, Paul Walker, Walker was a, I, a genuine good actor. Yes. Gen, and genuinely uh, a good not dude. Not the greatest yeah. actor. He, was, he, had he was a one better person. He had one of the best crib episodes of all time. Like, a lot of people on MTV Cribs. You guys, you guys yeah. are young enough. You remember? <laughs> remember? MTV cribs, like people would just like, like run out mansions and shit. Paul Walker just had this simple ass fucking house on the beach, and then he like had like some trailer like yeah. across the street. He's like, yeah, I That's just the, live in here, the surf shack, and yeah. I just fucking surf. And he was a fucking cool <laughs> ass fucking dude. dude. He was I'm all about the ocean, real and fucking dude. And, yeah, my favorite was Chris Pontius. He was living in that fucking Toyota truck. <laughs> <laughs> was he though? I mean, like that was the thing. Like I, I don't know. Like Paul Walker just he Red spoke Man's. to me. So Redman's was the Red best. Man's. His house yes, was dirty as fuck. <laughs> Where he's like, oh, there's no the button for the doorbell. Doors. Just rub these, yes. <laughs> rub <laughs> these two <laughs> wires together. Yeah, that was fucking good. The one. dollar box. I'm waiting. Though, I still use the dollar box. In the next box couple of years, of the next spinoff is going to be Toretto's father before before the accident when Toretto was oh. a kid and the, the origins. Yeah, you know what it's going to be? It's going to be they're going to go back in time and Dom Toretto's going to save his father and then they're going to fucking it's going to change the universe and all of a sudden Dominic Toretto is a fuck the if president. Doc Brown's there. Mm. They're, they're going to get it done. Him and Marty McFly could fucking they could Hello? get shit done. McFly. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
chiz. It's chiz. Oh, it's chiz may. You guys see the stars Wednesday morning or what? I did because I'm up oh, there. Oh, man. Early. It was dark as fuck. Super dark. It, it was dark for a while that morning, too. How'd you guys feel that day? Oh, just amazing. Amazing. So, so happy to be alive. When, Wednesday, I felt good. What am I missing here? Jeff. So, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff loves the cosmos. Jeff in the cosmos <laughs> was the name of the last podcast. Uh, because the Jeff's Jeff's life philosophy. I'm obsessed with stars and space and not giving a shit. Sure because of the fact right that we are so lucky to be just people in general and that we're because, healthy. Listen, and, in all honesty, we are right. Rogan said it best. We won the genetic lottery. We yes. are white men in America. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I, I'm being dead honest <laughs> with you. You privileged motherfucker. You we, we, like those like those YouTube. Like videos I was talking of to a lady privileges. today. Like if you make thirty thousand dollars a year, you are in the top one percent of the world. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Fair enough. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Don't get me wrong. You know, I don't want to be living in a hut in Nigeria somewhere. Hey, man. Have chase down a you ever seen those beach? videos? The, the guy who, like, makes their own huts, and they build, like, some special waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> out of, like, nothing. Out of sticks when they're digging the yeah, holes. Yeah, I'm like, fuck. Like yeah, but woods. I want to be able to go to a grocery store and buy a bag of apples. I don't want to have to fucking Dude, he has a moat walk. around his hut underground. Yeah, what do you when got? You don't have a moat? Comes, Where's your moat? Actually, I, <laughs> actually, if it rains hard enough, I do have a moat underneath my house. <laughs> That's what I, like. I had 18 inches of water the other day up to my house. Jeez, it was what? nuts. Yeah, I get 18 that, you get that little inches. like river, or like it's like a where they got the fountain. Bro, the, the Midwest is getting there. hit hard. It, dude, it's been raining like the goddamn monsoon. It's like monsoon season right now. Oh, it's yeah. terrible. Let's see what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. Mosquitoes are terrible. What too. do you guys think the weather's going to uh, be like? 62 for the Bears game? It's 62 and clear. Tomorrow. Oh, it is? Yeah. Because the weathermen are so fucking accurate. Well, that's what my app You know what I heard? You. It's going to be 69 and shitty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's supposed to be like. Joke, it's supposed guys. to be 82 on Monday. Bad joke. Yeah, I heard we're going to get another heat wave. Right now, I'm sitting in jeans and a sweatshirt, and on Monday, I'm going to be sweating like a slave. Yeah. I can't wait, though, for the fucking game tomorrow, and hopefully it's good weather. How dare you, you fucking <sighs> hater. That was a different It's not shit on them too progress. hard just yet. I'm going to shit just, on Jeff. Fucking we'll wait, negative we'll wait until uh, next Wednesday to release the sports podcast. Ooh, sp- the, the gentleman dead. TGD Sports. sports. Yes. Sports Dome. TGD Sports Dome. Start putting some stuff out on Wednesdays before the week and a recap of last mm-hmm. weekend. So I don't know if everyone's okay. heard. There's a new rule in the NBA where they have like a, <laughs> they have a treasure map, and if you <laughs> each team's oh, distributed a treasure map, and if you find the treasure, it's an automatic okay. playoff berth. It's automatic fifty wins. <laughs> yeah, 50 wins. you get fifty wins and automatic playoff berth. So I'm super pumped about that. And if you use the zip line. And then there's a zip line <laughs> from the scoreboard. <laughs> All the way down. So are you telling me the Bulls have a chance this year? Yeah, yes. they do. Oh, my well, God. I'm just saying, <laughs> Zach Levine, Levine, whatever, he is an amazing zip liner, so they have an advantage of that. He's got experience. You sure about that? That guy's 6'5". He's a big dude. How about yeah. how about the, uh, the WML? Accurate. What? The World Meth League. What is that? <laughs> what? I'd watch that. <laughs> I'd watch that over baseball. It's <laughs> where they videotape someone smoking meth and they start fighting the invisible Have you seen snakes. the girl? This girl is fucking on meth, hands down. She has to be on meth. And she's there's like this huge fucking puddle down in Florida. <laughs> she's fucking dancing in it. And someone put the flash dance music behind <laughs> it. I was fucking laughing my ass off. <laughs> Bro, I just wish I could be on that level once. Bro. Like, no. Well, I don't. No. <laughs> would, you, would you like to watch a a league where they actually allowed performing enhancing drugs? You know, it would be a great. Players? You know, it would be a yes. great league. You, you guys are into video games, right? Mutant no. League. So they had Madden yes. Mutant League. If they set up the field with like spike traps and shit, <laughs> <laughs> how much more just, interesting would football be? I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, that'd be super exploding, fun. Exploding fucking. End zones if and you shit. Could just get like all the comic stuff too, like Marvel and. and what like, about like, NBA? Capcom. You know, if the ball literally started on fire when Steph Curry hit three threes in a row, <laughs> right. every time he touched it, the motherfucker just lit up. <laughs> like, I'd pay to watch kerosene. that shit. Now that's entertainment, right? I, Fuck I, this boring I, ass see, shit. That's fun. You know, golf would be a lot better if it was a contact sport. 
<laughs> guys on oh, his bro. back swing and just get smoked by <laughs> another guy. <laughs> well, so does every every golfer get like one guy to be a defender? Yeah, and you got gets, you got one blocking, you got right. one blocker. As soon as he steps to the fucking the ball, then as soon got, as his back swing him. starts, as soon as his as soon as, soon as, as, the, as his tee penetrates the grass, yeah. <laughs> it's a full. <laughs> he's got fifteen rush. seconds yeah, to hit that get, ball. As soon as he's in his back swing, they <laughs> you get a. Well, full that's in. like when we used to play backyard football. You had to smear the queer. Fucking, you would have got a fucking a count. Words you like got to count. You can't. You can't say that. I'm That's sorry. Degrading. It's 2020. It That's what we used to call it. Yeah. You got 10 seconds. One, two. So you one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Yeah, and then you yeah, got to you sack the quarterback. Yeah, but you You were like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. You were fucking. Yeah, you didn't even pronounce Mississippi right. Right. Mississippi. One, <laughs> two. <laughs> Ten. Ah! It was one Mississippi. Two mis- three. Fucking- That's a problem. Everyone's, that getting, everyone's getting too gentrified and too pussified. Right. They don't even play fucking King of the Mountain in grade school Blitz, anymore. Motherfucker. I, everybody's offended by everything. I talked to my ladies' kids. I was like, oh, yeah, it's fucking winter time. We're out there. We don't know what to do. I was like, do you guys what? play fucking King of the Mountain? They're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Throw each other <laughs> off. I was like, the there's a the fucking snow mound. Snow mound, and the person who stays up at the snow mound the longest <laughs> wins. <laughs> They no, don't do we don't shit. play that. Because no. you know what? These kids are so but if they, had a, they get broken arms. If there was a legs, King of the Mountain then... video game, that fucker would be the number one selling on the market. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. But it didn't mean the guy was a queer. That's just what the game was called. No, it, it rhymes. It's called Smear the Queer. Yeah. yeah, it just rhymed. It went together. We'll just call it Tackle the Ball Carrier now. Hmm? Smear the Carrier. Do they really call it that now? Uh, no. Like, is that a thing? No, he doesn't get to change that. We already changed. What would we change? There's no more pound or uh, there's no more uh, hashtag. hashtag. It's only pound sign. It's pound sign. We're bringing pound, pound sign. sign back. You know what's fucked up is my lady is in nursing school with this other girl. And she's like, what's this hashtag? She's like, no. That's a pound <laughs> sign. <laughs> a, you have to Correct enter enough. that. Yes. That's, you have to call that and then put it in as a pound sign. Yeah. That's, that's how, what I'm saying. And then I'm like, exactly. That's how I'm, retarded. I'm bringing it back. I, I, this you know, I can't even say retarded anymore. No, yeah, that's how mentally that challenged stuff. it's become. Millennials. Whatever, bro. Pound please. sign goatees. I'm gonna, I'm, it's real simple. Everyone to shave goatees. The word triggered. Has no meaning anymore. Bullshit! I see you get triggered all Everyone the time. Triggered. No, <laughs> no, but what I'm saying. I'm talking about mayonnaise and mumble rap. Oh, it's like no, but what I'm saying. Triggered. Is, no, but what I'm saying is, is it's used so much. Oh, I'm triggered. Oh, that triggered me. It was a red light. How are you triggered? He's triggered right now. People are so pussified now. It's scary. Pussified. But this is the proper definition of a triggered man. Yes, there he is. I, uh, Sean goes zero. Just to go, Sean. To it. Sean is like, just go. there's no acceleration. It's just like. I'm zero to 100 real quick. Yeah. Me and Drake. You know that song? Gas pedal, gas pedal. That's Sean <laughs> at all times. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking. <laughs> there's no brakes on that. Mission. No. Who was that? Who was the tight end from Detroit that did that like three years ago? Did what? The gas pedal. After he made, caught the touchdown, he was their backup tight end. Did they play the song for him? Did like, someone yeah, made a, a uh, meme with him uh, doing the gas pedal dance? He did. He did every like he did the Soldier Boy when he scored a touchdown. Did he get a he flag because celebrating wasn't. I don't right. know. In Minnesota, they went on this boat. <laughs> that was I like, party with Smoot. <laughs> that was Fred Smoot, baby. <laughs> hey, wasn't it the uh, Anthony Miller game when they all got in the Viking ship when what? he scored the touchdown? Do you remember that? No, they were no. they were uh, canoeing. It uh, wasn't a Viking ship. I thought it was against the Vikings. That'd be a pretty good one. <sighs> we all get in the ship and stuff. That would be a good someday. one. Yeah, baby. Hey, um, I don't know what that fucking celebration was they did after HaHa picked that ball off, but that was some garbage. I was uh, I was not happy with that <laughs> celebration. I thought they were going to do that Motown shit again. I yeah, they were. I, I don't think they're about. there yet as a unit. They're still got to like gel. Eddie like, Jackson said they had planned fucking celebrations before thought, the game. Yeah, HaHa needs to step his game up. He had two his, picks last week. No, I'm saying with the celebrations. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, the right, celebrations. Yeah. You know, he's he's not good. in the groove with everybody else yet. Give him until like week five, week six. No, yeah, well, that's another it. thing, too. He's a okay. red player. He's here hey. to be a part of this defense that he could shine in and then go to another team. All right, we got to get off the sports. <laughs> we got to get off that's the for, sports. Sorry. That's for a different That's for time. a Wednesday. For the Wednesday, and you so tune in to the Gentleman's End Sports Podcast on TGD Sports Dome. Boom, bitches. Sports desk. No jizz on the It's sports, the sports at a podcast. desk. There'll be no <laughs> jizz is only on this podcast. So, 
Jeff kind of explained his life philosophy last week. Always. Always. How we are all just stardust. How we're a million particles of. We are, bro. We're 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 mere dots in the universe. We've won the DNA lottery. Frankie, what's your life philosophy? Mm. On the spot. I don't think I'm Fuck. high enough to get into this. No, I Do I, we have I think it's time? too high because Dylan, myself, and Jeff all want to go skydiving, and Frankie doesn't. <sighs> All right. Well, explain, explain, explain <laughs> why. So, uh, cause this I, is life I do philosophy. Feel, I do feel like I won that DNA lottery. I feel like we are so lucky to be who we are and I don't, I mean, we have good lives. I don't take the things for granted. So when we talk about doing a group thing and going skydiving, yes, I would be so fucking pumped. It'd be so awesome and fun. To jump out of a this plane. This is not and, what he said earlier. Hold no, on, no, 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 not no. even a little bit. No, I think it'd be fucking awesome. Do I want to take that risk and put myself in a situation where possibly my shoot don't open? And that's it. That's you know what I mean? There's I'm going to give up. Shoot. You got two shoots, Buck. Yeah. You know what? The One shit's of broken. Gonna and you're going to die nuts to butt. You ever watch? You go down the YouTube. <laughs> you go down the fucking. The dude's going to penetrate you as you land. <laughs> you, you go down the YouTube vortex. Huh? You know. Do you ever watch those like near death experience shit on YouTube? Do you see the 10 scariest You're not in a fucking what? squirrel yeah. suit. Hey, That's a problem. Fucking hey, too much no, social What was media. the first word you said to that, though? I don't know. Near death. Not you death. Know, you know what All else right. I watch? Is no, a lucky. lot of movies. Patrick Swayze made it down just fine. Yeah, he, Wesley he Snipes. that 50 foot wave and he was just. Wesley Snipes, Keanu Reeves, you mean? No, Wesley Snipes had that parachute movie too. Well, you know what I seen? I seen Dennis Rodman and Jean Claude Van Damme jump out of a plane in a Who? basketball. Yeah, they did. They made it just fine. <laughs> just fine. <laughs> Dennis I didn't Rodman? Need to dust it. I built it. Dennis Rodman? Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah Dennis Rodman. Who's Dennis that guy? Rodman. Like, who the fuck is Dennis Rodovin? The guy who hangs out with <laughs> Kim Jong Jiz. That guy. <laughs> hey, let's not piss off the yeah. North Koreans. Oh, we're, we're, like we're international on this podcast. People we are, are international, over, so We're you know international now. Shut We've up. had yeah, three we international listens. <laughs> Very nice. You know what I'm saying? Kiev, no? Ukraine. Shout out. Uh, shout, shout out. Shout out. Uh, Mexico City, Mexico. Once again, if we're teaching them English, we're, we apologize. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, somewhere in the UK. What I want to I want to put this out there right now because I I can see most of the states that we that listen to us for, through SoundCloud. Um, if you listen to us in California or all these other states where we don't know anybody in these states besides random people on the internet. What do you mean? I hooked up with random chicks on cruise. Sorry ships. to offend you. No, it's not even that. It's Send me an email and send us questions. Send us stuff. We want to. We want to hear from our listeners. We I want to know if you can really have a fire on the beach. <laughs> it's, I, I, I don't it's think true. it's legal. You can't I don't have think it's legal. Beach, or you can't sleep out there. Every movie that happens in California, they're having a big old fucking bonfire on the beach and having the a beach. great old I think time. You need yeah. Permits too to dump somebody's ashes out on the beach. You yeah, need, they, you I don't need think permits you to dump it. ashes anywhere. And not only saying, that, you know, yeah. they get chased down by car. How windy stuff. is it on the beach and shit with the with the wind coming off? Well, the ocean? I don't think you could burn a cigarette in California now without starting a wildfire. Well, all these so. uh, all these movies, <laughs> the romantic thing is this dude and this chick are fucking sleeping on a towel in the middle of the fucking beach. That ain't happening. You're not sleeping on the beach. So much sand in your ass. So <laughs> much. It would what be the worst are night you sleep. watching? The good ones. <sighs> All from Kaliev. So yes. our email address is thegentlemansdenpod at gmail.com or oh. hit us up on Twitter. So let at, us know if you can actually have a fire on the beach. I want to know. And hit us up on Twitter, too, at TGD Podcast one Or is that a metaphor? Huh? Our Twitter. Huh? I switched our Twitter handle because oh. Gentleman Den sounded like shit. Gentleman Dan? Yeah. God damn. Grammar. Yeah. Gentleman Dan. I thought so it was it's, Gentleman's Den. It was Gentleman Den. It was plain. Gentleman bond, underscore Den. No S? What happened to the S? It, it didn't give us an S. It, would, so it wouldn't a, give it to you? There's already a Gentleman's Den. Ooh, well, shout out to them. At which is a hair cutting a barbershop. Should have been Gentleman's Den 101. Uh, Brooklyn. 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 Shout out to Zoo. Brooklyn, New York. Make sure you take a listen to the podcast, Brooklyn. 
Yeah, and Indiana, too. There's someone in Indiana that listens to the fuck out of us. Oh, they love it. Like, uh, yeah, Indiana. No, legitimately, like, every podcast has, like, 15 to 16 listeners yeah, from bro, Indiana. Good... Right. Oh, they got Hoosiers. Getting fucked up on a Saturday talking bullshit You ever about seen the, the movie Cosmos. Hoosiers? They, got they play Hoosiers a lot of basketball in Indiana. Bulls teaser. <laughs> <laughs> Saskatoon. Where's Saskatchewan? I don't know. Saskatchewan. Movie oh, reference. Movie I dare reference. you guys. There's right. actually a bunch of good movies. All right, Dylan, what do you what did you want to talk about? Yeah, yeah, you bring us some you shit. You're our guest. You Come on oh, now, see, you holding on to it. It's hard when they put All you right. live hot All on right. the mic. So I've been these past day or so finally started <clears throat> potty training my son. Mm. It has been quite the ride. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Awesome. Jeff Carillo. How many times do you get peed on? I need some. You need some advice. Some potty training advice. Ooh, Jeff, got you, got, boy you got that advice? You sit him on the toilet, you look him in the eye, and you say, you fucking piss! <laughs> <laughs> I was honestly hoping to stand him up and just say, hey, man, point your name. No, but you, it's not working you have out. a son, right? Yeah. 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 See, I have a daughter, so it's completely different because guys can just piss fucking anywhere. All right, well, what you got to do is make I remember a game my ladies, for him, dude. My ladies, my ladies tra- I've been trying. My point ladies' children, no, 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 yeah, no. they just point name. Point your name. Uh, what is the aim of it? Take, take a Cheerio and throw it in the toilet. Oh, that's a great idea. Or the you Cheerio. take a dump and tell them to sink the Bismarck. <laughs> Let that fucking turd go. float. <laughs> aim for the go. turd, brother. Let me tell you the there. greatest game I've ever played. You put like a... <laughs> I, I already know this is gonna be fucking horrible. Huh? <laughs> Look at his face. How fucked up is he? It is. I'm fucked 50, up, 50, bro. 50, the like greatest game I ever played. Guys, guys. Said like fifty of them. You put like fifteen Skittles in the toilet and then you flush it. It's like a ten second NASCAR race. All right. So hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> so do we do this? I want to. All right. We all get Skittles and everyone picks a color. Yes. And, we put and them then in the you toilet bet. And we bet on it. And then we record and it. And then you and flush it. Hey, figure out who you, the know, you know what my bet is? Photo. They sink to the fucking bottom. No, no, you're you, you have to bet on a color. It's still going to swirl. It's still going to swirl. If they're in the bottom of the toilet, no, it's not going to swirl. It's you get a bet. On, right you got to bet on like S fifteen. <laughs> you need to pick a <laughs> color and a number. I can't wait till betting's legal. Which actually, I met a dude. It's coming, and bro. Isn't it? there's oh. going to be uh, you know a lot of gambling and betting? If you're and in stuff. a NASCAR, put Skittles on the toilet and flush it. It's the same thrill. It's better. And now he's actually going to be starting. He's going to have a podcast, and uh, it's Illinois sports gambling. Or sports betting, Illinois sports Who betting. Is? Uh this, this this guy I met, and it's going to be pretty cool. I, I'm so excited for all the gambling that's going to happen as of January. Right now, a lot of people are going to Indiana to place bets on football this season. But, like, I'm waiting until January, and I know the season will be over. Maybe the Super Bowl you'll be able to. Are you but, waiting to bet? Or yeah, I just want to start legal betting weed. Again. Yeah, Illinois has got some serious legal stuff weed's gonna going be awesome on for too. him. There's so. What? They, it's got some good stuff going on, is what I'm saying. Yeah, a lot of a lot of so, money should be coming back from taxes, from gambling and shit. Taxes, too. taxes. They taxing the shit out that shit. Taxing, but they letting us gamble. They letting us do our thing. I'm excited for it to be able to go on an app and be like, I'm gonna take the fucking, you know, whoever's playing the night with the points and put twenty bucks on it. It makes it a little more so, fun. So, have you guys kind of noticed that <laughs> since Trump's been office, he's turning it into the whole country into Atlantic City. I don't know. I don't talk about that guy. Is no, he and I'm telling you what, no, I'm telling you what, orange-er? because Trump owned casinos <laughs> where sports gambling is allowed and all that shit. Now it's nationwide <laughs> Whatever. sports gambling. I can't wait. For it's us better to, for the country. I I'm, can't wait to go to those more places money. that open up the In bookings. all honesty, before he gets impeached, if he gets impeached, legalize weed. It's going to happen. Federally. Yes, should. Federally. So I stopped legalized. getting drug tested. <laughs> Colorado. Yeah, Colorado doesn't drug test. They do. Federally. They... Federally. So you first off, you get all the minor drug offenders out of the fucking prison system. Yeah, but no. But the state passed a law that you can't be fired from your job for for failing a test for marijuana. Colorado passed that in January. I think... it's, it's a cool step to be like, hey, we understand people do that, and it doesn't affect your job. Obviously, if you're not fucked up here. And you're just using it at home to relax. Then treat it like fucking alcohol. Exactly, it's the same exact thing. And you know what? You have a better chance of smoking something at a bar and driving home and making it home. You safely mean drinking, drinking something at a bar? No, smoking something at a bar and driving home and making it there safely than drinking at a bar and driving home and fucking getting in an accident or some some stupid shit. You're way more impaired from alcohol, two hundred percent. So it's going to be cool, but it's still illegal to drive under the influence of it. So 
if it's a catch twenty two because one is it but the how high do they actually test gone? For that? Right. How if you smoked in the morning? They're gonna do mouth swab mouth tests. Swabs. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. Yeah, but well, how do how they? How accurate is that? Yeah, and, it, you know, whatever. It, it, with, it is within what it a, is. It, it's within like an hour and a half span. That's really well. You accurate, know what? Hey, actually. don't be a fucking idiot and eat a ton of edibles and smoke a fatty and then get behind. Like the wheel. Like you did tonight. <laughs> I'm not behind the wheel. <laughs> you will be. Because you know you're down. driving home to your king size bed. I love my king size, uh, but that's and your hours. bottle of Jergens right it's next hours to it. Ago, and I got <laughs> fucked up at like six o'clock, and it's like midnight Jeez. already. So I don't want even. Wanna... Is it? What time is it? I don't even know. It's late. It's eleven. We're good. It's only eleven. Dude, we've done. You we've done one later. Uh, Beth, me, All right. Maybe Home Depot. So we got Jeff's life philosophy. We kind of got Frankie's life philosophy. I'm just saying. I don't just put myself stars, in that bro. predicament. Don't put yourself in the predicament to. to I look end at stars. Don't and test fate. Is what you're I saying. I look at stars hey, and Frankie live. flies in the stars. I I say live your life and be you and be happy and whatever you do that does if people like that adrenaline rush and that's what they need in life to grasp on to feel alive then then do that but if you're also feeling alive when you hang out with your family and friends and have good memories of just sitting around and having the barbecue then enjoy those moments and don't put yourself don't get behind the wheel fucked up and, and risk it don't jump out of a plane and fucking parachute if you don't really want to lose that amazing thing that or we is all it have. that you're just scared maybe it is i'm just scared i mean it's i fine. don't know you could be scared Let's go to the fucking. Let's go to the water slide at the Kalahari and see who's scared. Out of the four of us, my ass is the one that's gonna die out of jumping out of a plane because I'm so fat. Uh, if anything, yo, 270 I'm pounds you as aerodynamically ain't fucking... to tuck my body behind you, so I. You just got to get this. All right, so you have to double team it, right? Yeah, double team. Yeah. One, oh, I have first to, time. I have to have an anorexic strapped to my back. Yeah, so there's a guy that's gonna be like 100 pounds. Let's get a like, little guy. He's gonna be a real nurturer. Yeah. He's going to talk you through it. Oh, I'm fine. Like I said, if it's my I think time you're to go, scared it's my to, time to go. I think you're scared of turning gay. Yeah. Not at all. Experience. Not at all. I yeah. am. Breathing. I am. to another dude. Neck. I am 100% He's breathing okay heavily with my into your sexuality. Your ear. <laughs> He's John, like, it's going to be okay. <laughs> as long as he ain't licking my neck, we're fine, baby. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to pull the chute. And you're like, oh, pull it. Oh, pull it. <laughs> This is what I deal with. Are you com- going to jump out of the plane with your socks on? Are you going to jump out of the plane with your socks on or off? Socks both on these or off. fucks double team me. I can't fucking come back at either of them because they both fucking block each other. <laughs> never happens. Oh, man. <laughs> They're the fucking two-headed demon of fucking The pussified. first guy ever to fucking jump out of a plane barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he yells as he jumps out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be at the bottom waiting for you guys. Oh, I make one comment that I can't jizz with my fucking socks on, and it's just going to live with me for life. No, it's, it's a great not, comment, yeah, though. It is. It's facts. Wear it as and a badge of honor. It's a nice problem. I have. tried it as an experiment the other night. <laughs> I came instantly. <laughs> I can't sleep with socks on, though, either. No, I don't like to. Why either. not? I can't do it. I can't get comfortable. For some, that's my thing. Socks are my thing. I don't know. I'm weird. How dare you? I love socks. A bitch with a nice with a nice pair of socks on. That's my thing. She, that's what does it for me. <laughs> my lady's <sighs> like, you're not seriously gonna fuck me with your socks on, are you? Like, it enhances the orgasm. Did you that's stare at her in the eyes? <laughs> what does? <laughs> yes, I am. What does? It Thinking enhances your socks the orgasm. Your if socks. You leave your socks Facts. on. How? Facts. Don't ask it me how. It depends what ask some socks. Fucking Sean, scientist that did Sean, the fucking you see study. what Sean's missing out on? <sighs> Not what your socks My like orgasm Sean, is fine. It'll be the fine. greatest thing ever. Like high socks? Like, like high starter tube, socks? Tube just socks? put some fucking like, socks on, bro. Like, and fuck your girl. Like NBA in 1986 nah, socks. Nah. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Shin high, mid shins. I'm, right. lo- I'm a low sock guy. Ankleettes. Ankles all day. Ankleettes. I like I'm it under my White or black? Black. Black. I like, you, I like could you imagine? Could you imagine fucking in like those fucking Larry Bird socks? Like I said, 1986 <laughs> NBA knee highs, baby. There's you know no way, dude. You know what is funny? You it's, can't get traction. I remember. The, I was just about to say. All right, I remember. I was at a wedding and I had those real thin nylon socks that would go up to your knees and shit. Yeah, dress socks. Yeah, <laughs> try fucking in those. You know how hard it is to get traction on. Uh, Another reason why I take my socks off when I fuck. But it feels weird. It's like. But your orgasm, breezy. bro. 
My you orgasm's fine. You nah, sure? It could be better. It could be better. It dude. could be better. Keep your socks on. You know what makes it Pound better? Pound sign, keep your socks on. You, you, honestly, you know what makes it better? <laughs> I'm listening. Say Not it. having to fuck with a condom on. That's what makes it yeah, better. that is Fair enough. Best. <laughs> Fair enough. Touche. I've never worn one of those. I. What's a condom? I right? have to. I'm so fucking paranoid that I have one strong swimmer left that he's going to fuck me. Marijuana. Sex. I drink a lot of pineapple juice. Paranoia of the brain. That's like it's good for and cum. I would say, isn't that for the taste? It's also for it's potency. For taste. Potency, motherfuckers. Potency. Makes them swim or swim. Stay strong. Strong like bull. Strong. Like one day bull. you guys will join the club. Uh, of eventually. Not a fucking chance. You don't want children? I will, but I'm waiting. You don't want kids? You don't want this little Sean's what... running around getting triggered right. over everything? Me, <laughs> me and Dylan have children. So these fuckers don't understand. They're like, oh, let's go out to dinner. I'm like, I, dude, when, I got the kids. I, and they're like, well, just bring them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. we'll just fucking bring them. Hey. Like, they're going to sit there I'm all right in with their it. chair. I, I come no. hang out fine. with you. I, with never, I never ask you, you to come How out for you. dinner with the kids. How dare you? I do, and I go out with you. We went to Olive Garden with the boys, and it was a very nice time. Yeah, the boys. My daughter, the savage, Whatever, didn't we go. take her out. Savage. Once, she, once like, she hits nine years old, hopefully that savageness Wait will till be my daughter. Down. Yeah, she's nine years old and learns what a spitball is. <laughs> And can load it well, into yeah. a straw. Gonna They're stop. gonna be all up in your beard. That stop beautiful beard of her. yours. Stop my training her to be an be asshole. Fucking uh, spitballs in your monster. fucking beard. She's so cool, though. It's all right. So, Dylan, right. Uh-huh. we need Dylan's life uh, philosophy now. Oh man, why you got to on the spot? I don't know. How many kids you got, Dylan? Two. Yeah, see? Let's hear it. What's your life philosophy? I have a child and two stepchildren, and it's fucking crazy. These guys don't understand. They don't. You really don't. You won't get it to actually have them. Kids suck. (laughs) (laughs) Shit's terrible. They're life draining. It is. Hey, I feel. They're life draining savages. I'm 30 years old. I feel 45. (laughs) Straight up. Kids are life draining savages. Hey. All I want to do is just play Madden all day, and they won't let me. Dad, they won't let me. Dad, dad, dad. You, you guys dad, hear him on the mic? Dad. He's always yelling, Dad. Bah, bah, bah. Dinosaur, bro. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? He's, he's like, flexing on yeah. me. Yeah, he's always flexing on me. He's going to be a little monster, too. <laughs> dad, you're a bitch. Pretty much. <laughs> That's what <gonna be> <laughs> I'm feeling now. Watch. He's calling me out. He's like, son, I just I'm, play man, kid. I'm training this dinosaur right now. Yeah, don't, you know? It's, it's one of those things where bring back corporal punishment for kids. I want to see a world of little, school, little four-year-olds going to work. Listen, what pisses me off right now about kids, period, is every kid is ADHD, ADD. All this. No, we're we didn't, all just wild listen, animals. We didn't have that shit when I was growing up. You know what happened when you were fucking around in school? You got, you got the fuck knocked out of you, and, and you went back to fucking work. Yeah, you said, I don't want to get my ass Shut up again. and study. That's the fucking way to care ADD and ADHD. Well, this is the problem nowadays. Fear of fucking that- God. Parents work all fucking day, and then they come home, and they just want to relax and not deal with shit. And yeah. their kids are off the fucking chain because they have so much fucking energy, just like they did as you know, when they were kids. But they don't want to deal with when it. So they're like, energy? give up. Oh, when I was a fucking child, trust me, I was a fucking savage. Yeah, what, what's I, energy? I agree. I, I agree with what you're saying. <laughs> but that's the thing. They want to dope their fucking kids up. They're like, my kid lazy. needs Ritalin. Because that's yeah. lazy. Yeah, you know why your kid Easy needs out. Ritalin? Because you don't want to deal with your fucking exactly. kid. Exactly. Why don't you sit down and draw with your kid? Right. Why don't you go outside and ride a bike with your kid? Exactly. No, I just Look worked at Bella. 12 Bella's hours. riding on two wheels now. She's a savage. She's a she fucking savage, shit. bro. She ate shit three times. My daughter last is like <laughs> my daughter is like super into like drawing and shit right now. So I fucking I try. Like I, I get I'm the don't get me wrong, I fall in the same trap. I work all fucking day, work twelve hours, I come home, I just want to sit and relax. My daughter's like, go, 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 go. Daddy, look at this. Daddy, look at that. Daddy, look at this. Daddy, look at that. Daddy. And it's hard because I just want to like sit down. Don't fuck with me. Don't talk with me. Don't do nothing. But it's like then I feel bad because it's like she just wants she has attention. she just wants to go. Yeah, and you know what? Enjoy that time now. Right, another ten years. She'll well, that's be like, I enjoy. Fuck I enjoy dad. every moment. 
of my daughter. Straight Don't up, get me wrong. Her, though, I enjoy every moment of my daughter. <laughs> that's a woman in her for because real. Because I know she's going to get to an age where she it's eventually sure tells she me to 14, go fuck myself. She's going to be like, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dealing with a 10-year-old. So like when she like comes in up, our bed you. and she's like, I want to <laughs> fucking cuddle. I'm like, cuddle time. get up in here. <laughs> yeah, enjoy it now. Yep. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, I'm with it. And I'm 100% with you. Why do you think I don't have to? But the problem is, though, is... They don't need fucking pills. No. They just need your fucking attention. That's all they want is your attention. At, at least an hour of just fucking face-to-face time will help out that immensely. The number one thing you can do is be there. Be is, a fucking parent. There's no such thing as a parent anymore. Right. It's not like, hey, go over there and watch the phone. And it's a, I'm and watching the Kardashians right now. Right. Go fuck let me watch my show. Go what are you doing? Oh, yeah. TV nice picture. Go, 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 go. Get out of my fucking yeah, way. You're blocking no. the TV. It's like, no. What did you draw? That's fucking awesome. What happened Let's to draw a picture together. Though, of like a, a, the pre-mother and father, you know, during pregnancy, the... Oh, I can't wait for the baby. I want. And as soon as the baby comes, right? Away. This motherfucker ruined my life. No, goddamn stretch marks. All they want to <laughs> do is go out and party, and they can't. Well, that was a friend of mine posted. She's a single mama too. She posted on the old FB. She goes, "Hey, you know, instead of you know what some of you parents should go as is for Halloween, good fucking parents. <laughs> Try it, <laughs> do be there." She's like, fucking do stuff with your kids, man. Right. Dress them up for Halloween. Take them trick or treat and not just be that fuck all that doesn't match your kids and be like, yeah, I'm just following them around. I commend Do parents. it with them. It's Halloween together. I commend parents that take their kids out and go and do shit and have, you know, have fucking relationships with their children. Yeah. Bring Hold it. up real quick. See, we bring a red wagon full of booze. Yeah. Oh, all right. Now that's what we, yeah, the booze bus, but. You know what I seen? I seen a little picture of a little kid that was in a red wagon, and then they put like a a box around her, and made it look like a mouse trap, and she was like the little mouse on the where the cheese was. I couldn't. Cheddar. I want to do that in real life. Like, Did you see the transformer ones? The little kids. Yeah, dude. That was Fuck sick. yeah. Can we build sick. those? Fucking sick. Fuck yeah, we can. I still oh, say, yeah. what are we gonna do for Halloween? And no one's no one's made something better than my we idea don't know, of just yeah. clowns. I uh, like everyone. All of us. Everyone's made up with a better idea. Praise Fuck off. My girl Janine about the parenting. She is awesome with my kids. There we go. She's always. I wish we I had like a button hear. of a round She's of applause. She's camping with them all the time. Taking them out. Just taking them out. Jesus. What was? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, don't, don't, don't touch that. Don't touch that cord, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna send there. us off the rails. But yeah. Not any no. different than every other week. Yeah. Well, oh, dude, shit. it doesn't take much effort, but all they, all your kids want you to do is time. get engaged with them. time. Mm-hmm. That's it. Just want time. Just be there. Give them an hour. One hour. One hour. One hour solid of hour. Hour of play. I mean, and, and now, just the, just the and now, stuff. if you give them an hour, then you go, hey, why don't you watch some slime videos on my phone? And then you, even good. like watching some, bo- dude. I, all right. As a kid, I loved, loved one of my favorite movies of all time is The Dark Crystal. Oh, here we go. Bro, Dark Crystal series just came out on Netflix. Here we go. This is more for you than the kids. It's phenomenal. Yeah, it is, like, but it's for this. both of us, though. But like, you're, yeah, you're, you're probably you're, dragging them along in it, and they're just kind of like... Well, because the boys, the ride, all like, the boys do it, is Dad, sit down. All the boys do is they, they want to watch YouTube videos. They want to do this. They want to do that. They won't go out. So it's like you got to find something that everybody enjoys. Well, like when Belle is drawn, and then you sit down and draw with her, now, you're an actually pretty good drawer. I fucking suck. Drawer. Drawer. Drawings. Draw, Is that a word? Drawing. I don't know. I mean, are any words what they, you know, so all words are made up. <laughs> Google it. Frank, I drew this Frankie fucking. Just the so English my daughter language. is fucking obsessed with Harley Quinn. So I drew her like an authentic, badass fucking. Is best Margaret Robbie. And he's a Harley very good Quinn. Drawer. You it was are. it was a great fucking picture. And then she just colored. She just scribbled all fucking over it. And I could have been pissed and I just looked at it and I was like, nah. I drew it for her. And she it's her picture. It, yeah. She can do whatever the fuck she wants with it, right? Yeah. But when you draw something like that and you color it and stay in the lines, now she actually learned to stay more in the lines and try. But that's not and- her. But no, what I'm saying is because he spends eventually the time she in, will. She's young still. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's, she's only gonna five, so she's gonna the fuck the shit. I got a picture of her. She's controlled chaos. That's really good. 
But what I'm saying is when Jeff spends time with her and sits down and he actually draws a picture, she sees how he draws it and she gets better. That's how you teach your kids. Yeah, and then she fucks it up and I'm like, Bella. Right, but at least now (laughs) the stupid little stick figure she made looks better than it did before when you showed her how you make them. You don't call little kids stick figure drawing stupid. What are you, some kind of fucking asshole? Yeah. That's a <laughs> animal. I still have her you Paw Patrol picture bitch. that she drew. Paw Patrol. That's, scribbled back that's what I was just going to say. Jeff had that's to put beautiful. up with Paw Patrol for years. So those loved kids it. could sit through for fucking the Dark Crystal series. They <laughs> loved Paw it, though. Patrol, Paw Patrol. And then I, there was Paw like Patrol. an hour long video of. The like the making of Dark Crystal, where yeah. they show like how they made the puppets. I like they were honestly asleep. more interested in that, which than is they were awesome. the actual show, which I love, because I was the nerd that always bought like the more expensive DVD yeah, that had like the extra shit. special yeah. features. The always to the double see disc. like how the fucking always the movie was disc. made. I always spent spared no expense. You're I'm nerd. like, yeah, I'll fucking buy that. shit. I'm dealing with SpongeBob right now with the three year old. <laughs> it's like, oh. Bro, hey, you know you what though? Something else? He's like, ah. You know what though? With SpongeBob, you gotta watch because there's a lot of hidden shit in there. Adult humor, adult the humor cartoons. buried there in there. Is, there is. Like it's, SpongeBob is made more for like, adults for sure. Like the Mr. Crab bumper sticker that says "I love weed." There was a whole thing about how fucking on the back of his station wagon, his I'll bumper sticker, <laughs> bumper sticker says "I love weed." Someone's gonna have it I'm on. Later. Find that episode. Like, hey, why I watch this episode? There was a whole thing about on YouTube about how fucking SpongeBob is in dirty. Windows. Yeah, it's so dirty. Yeah, so it's dirty. Bikini Bottom, right? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole yeah. bunch of shit going on down there. Yeah, you, you got it. literally, <laughs> literally, a whole yeah. lot of shit going on. Whole lot there. of shit. The Krusty Krab. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of shit going on up in there. Yeah, it's uh, you know, I don't know what they're just like Ren and Stimpy back in the day. Oh yeah, that was, was dirty, filthy. It was terribly. Yeah, filthy. there's so many cartoons Fil- that and that was on at meaning. nine a.m. on yeah, oh, Saturday yeah. morning. <laughs> there's a reason why it was Saturday on morning at 9 cartoons. Like it just, I mean, shit. Go back and watch the Flintstones and the Jetsons and shit like that. That shit all had filth ball. Filth ball, filth and filth. Do you? You can't say that. Filth and filth and filth. Do you realize now they have disclaimers at the beginning of Looney Tunes? Really? Oh wow! Talking about the violence. Talking about coyote. Fucking don't always actually got beat drop by. an anvil on the top of your friend's head. <laughs> yes, if you drop an anvil on top Dude, of someone's head, it's not going to. Dave, no, yeah, Dave Chappelle said it best. Pepe Le Pew was a race, a rapist. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. They were like, no, no, no. He didn't give a fuck. He was just taking it. Give me it's, that shit. Okay. Taking the pussy. The Count was a pimp. I mean, right. <laughs> how many times must I slap you? <laughs> One, two, two three, three. Three smacks. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. It was a different time, man. The Better cartoons times. are fucking crazy now, though. I don't even fucking know what the hell's going on. It's Listen, they ruined Ninja Turtles. I wanted to bring back the old school. Yeah, let's talk ways. about. Yeah. Let's talk no, about. I, if you haven't uh, watched the first Ninja, the, how good it was how the best, you. the dark. best movie. I'm 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 gonna say it right now. The first Ninja Turtles, the best movie ever made. Ooh, wow. that's, that's the best turtle movie it ever is made. So, maybe <laughs> it is so Dude. perfectly made. Yeah, it is it so it fucking dark. It is like it's what you wanted. To, it is you perfect. wanted it to be. It it's, is perfect. You know the who new tried to ninja. Do that? I watch. I tried. The boys are at that perfect age. You know they're ten, so they're in that perfect age. Those they're like super into the new Ninja Turtle movies, and it's like <sighs> watch these originals. I can't do the CGI. No, no. Shredder bad. looks like a fucking transformer. Did they yeah. watch it? The and turtles. Did they appreciate it. The original. They. they they think the the old Ninja Turtles like, yeah, what the fuck is in this? All honestly, oh, really? In all off. honesty, once they get a little bit older, so they can so when they, they can get older though, they will team, appreciate. Yeah. It. That's so, what I'm saying. So they can understand that, that first darkness. Ninja Turtles movie. This I've I've said this before in the podcast, so I apologize. But when shit is CGI, there is no like, there's no there's feeling. no feeling, feeling to, to it. it. So when they get hurt or injured, or when they're fighting, uh. 
another CGI shredder. Yeah. I don't feel anything. Right. They get punched in the face. You're like, eh. No, in even the first in, movie when Raph if, gets the shit beat out of him. Right. You felt that. You and then felt they brought it. it back to life, you know? like When he's in the tub, like, healing, you're like, yeah. Leo, oh, come on, bro. Leo. Even though I know they're not. Get some water. They're not real. It's a suit, yeah. but it's still a physical object it's, that right. someone, your eye and your feelings can relate to. I don't, I don't fucking they care. Bring it well, back. you know what the best 100%. thing about that movie is, is the fact that it's made in a real scene. It's it's in a real city with real buildings and real everything that makes you feel that move. Th- that movie was so fucking dark. I fucking right. loved it. You were in a bad city and a bad part of town. There was a gang and it was affecting the people's lives and I'm sorry that first Ninja Turtles movie is one of the best movies made ever but I, I am relate sorry to a movie that I, doesn't have a I, real set no need to apologize a, 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 I will say it but people aren't there. gonna agree I mean no. there's great movies and it's and it's that first and Ninja Turtles movie it is has it all. fucking be, one of the be, it does it has everything it's because of the story right. the story the costumes it's just, it's so dark. It's like, the it's real of, shit. Yeah. It's, it's like Leo you, fucking sitting, you know, waiting for Raft to, I, I, it's got all, a fucking the, everything. The only thing, <laughs> Shredder was a real fucking dude. So passionate right. about God the damn it, dude. Leader I am so passionate God. about this shit. It is one of the best movies ever made. I am sorry. And if you think of a fucking villain, he did it the right way. He had a gang that was low on the, on the streets, and they they took yeah, petty what, shit, and he built an empire of warriors. And and what were the kids? They were all like latchkey kids, right? They were all he took he was all and, and dude, and, that's how mumble rap started. You take all these, <laughs> you take all these kids, yeah, but that have no parents. Shit. <laughs> We are here Give because the outside world pills. rejects you. Yes. No, Mumble Rap was started because of fucking Xanax. Whatever. Hmm? I'm just saying <laughs> that I, I'm with you on the Fuck that's that one of the greatest. Rap and I love, shit. a lot of people don't think it's as good, but I love the second one too. Secret of the Ooze was still great. Yeah, but then Shredder got all steroided up at the end. Well, it was obviously, it, geez, was, bro. it went into, they are. It was more, it was a, <laughs> it was a fun movie. Sorry. Yes. It was fucking fun. That chord sucks. I got a new one. <laughs> and, and as far as like where where the story went to, you still were able to relate. They were from an ooze that made them, you know, what they are. What was Master Splinter doing on the rooftop? Coming. Coming. <laughs> to a decision. <laughs> yeah, why was that pause so long? <laughs> I don't know, but it's perfect. I love that fucking scene. Why was that pause that long? <laughs> you know, though, when he gets caught and his foot's underneath the, the little shadow box, I feel like he, was, he is a ninja. He could have found a better place to hide. Who? What? <laughs> Who? When he's hi- in the second one, when he's hiding in her apartment, and the piece of delivery guy comes, and they're all they all- yeah, but that was more like a fun movie. That was the that was that's yes, it first was more fun. That first one was God darker, damn, right. dude. I'm I'm done. I'm I'm I, done with this podcast. Right, so let's go watch load. it. It's over. I got a, I'm in. I, I got I'm a in. question. I'm done, bro. You got popcorn? I've got a mm. question. Mm. What's your question? Do you remember when they made the Ninja Turtle album where the turtles were singing? I actually seen them in concert, so go fuck yourself. I, I have. I, 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 I have. We're coming, we're coming out of too. our shell. <laughs> I did, too. We're coming out of our shell. Yeah, I they saw They had, it like, too. sparkly stars over their eyes. Yeah, I yeah, saw it, too. I saw them in concert. Yeah. Oh, Frank, Frank, it was have you ever heard bad. the music? No, yeah, it's actually, bad. It's, you know what? I've watched all from, the From what from I can remember... Though. When I was a kid, I'm like, just Google oh, this Ninja is... Turtles coming out of our shells. It it was the guy that wrote C U M. The guy coming out of my shells. <laughs> <laughs> no, the uh, the guy that wrote those songs was like, uh, I think it was Danny Elfman, who was like one of the biggest movie guys for soundtracks, and they made all these movies, these songs about the Ninja Turtles, and it was. When you're a kid, you're like, "Oh, this is cool." Then you listen to it when you're older. You're like, "What oh, the so fuck was bad. this?" I, about, about I will show like you that. a fucking trailer to this, and you will be like, "What the fuck is this?" I played that tape because I had the cassette tape. Oh, I had fuck. the VHS and the VHS. Oh yeah, I got it at after the show. Yeah, well, uh, I two please. The first I think movie, I bought two of them. The first I, Turtles movie because it was so dark and real. I feel the only I thing that's it. ever came back from that is like the Dark Knight. Like those movies when they made Batman from how it used to be the comic, you know, comic the boom, pat, pow. Well, because it had a like 
it had a realness. Yeah. Like right of the streets. Christian the Bale. And... Christian Bale played it fucking great. He and did I a great love how fucking they did job. The scenes in Chicago. And then they had villains that actually felt realistic. Real. Like it Dude, wasn't the, like a the scarecrow. It wasn't like cartoony. Room. Right. Right. The Joker. Bane was fucking Bane. Like those were really good movies and like the Joker lines. wasn't Razagul. some guy who fell right. into a vat of fucking you know. The Dark Knight Shit. was mm. absolutely ridiculous. But I want to see I, something come back with that. Insane. Like, if they brought the Turtles back and made it where it was like that again. It will never happen. Never. It They're going to keep no, doing CGI. It will in another 30 years. No, it won't. Yes, it will when movies are all I hope. Everyone hey, will go back to this nostalgic. Like what I just talked about, the Dark Crystal. That whole series right. is actual puppets. They actually made a, like well, a pilot just... episode with CGI. And they're like, they denied it. Well... Good. I'm gonna tell you now. So I the think like why... I think like more shit. Like look at the best horror movies of all time, especially like uh, like werewolf movies and shit. Like the real bad, costume. Bad Moon. Bad Moon is was one of my favorite fuck. fucking werewolf movies of all time. That werewolf looks real. American Werewolf crazy. in London. That werewolf looks scary as fuck. Not nowadays. No CGI shit. Nowadays Anybody, they would make it CGI and it horror would look movies? like shit. Were fucking frightening because of how it was almost low budget. Right, how they tried to make like the there was no CGI. Work. Like right, what are um, we gonna make his head explode out of makeup? Oh my god, scanners, <laughs> scanners, oh, scanners! The dude's heads exploding. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, how fucking crazy was that? He's just in there. But the now 19... they would CGI the fuck out of it. Yeah, yeah the nineteen seventy four. I think it's Day of the Dead after Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, the Day of the Dead. The beginning scene is like. Them blowing up the zombie's head, and when it like shows him walking in, he's ah, and then it shows her pull the gun, and as she goes to shoot, he goes back to the zombie, and it's this clay. It's like a pu- it's like a wax. pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, dude, it looks so bad, and then it explodes, and you're like, like even that's better than CGI. Yeah. How awesome was the makeup on fucking Hellraiser? Yeah, like right. nowadays they would fucking CGI those pins in his head. Well, let's let's go right to it. Child's play. Why oh, the man, that shit looked horrible. Why the fuck are you touching that movie? Chucky right. looks horrible. You know, they, I heard they did. Someone had a bad outlash of the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and it was it, CGI. They're, they're redoing not, it. It's not redo- even. Yeah, they completely scrapped it. Yeah, they should do. They should have did that with Chucky. Well, because Chucky was did so you watch? Did you real. watch your preview? Of which one? Of Sonic. Sonic. Uh, he doesn't did, look anything like Sonic. They, he has like actually, small eyes they and really little made boots. Him. They remade him to look more like the animated. Because right. everyone yeah. bitched. Yes. yes. They yes. gave him teeth. What's the... Um, who, actually, who's the actor that does the voice of him or whatever? Is it Reynolds? Well, plus No, too. that was the Pikachu movie. Oh, okay. Yes, you're Which right. Which was right, actually right. not a bad movie. I, I, I did out. not see it. I, I, I wanted to give I it a shot. I watched it. I liked it. Yeah, I wanted to give it a bad. shot. I, I did want to give it a shot. I just haven't got around to watching it. I got to get really fucked As up. a nerd and I'm somewhat of a up. Pokemon fan from back in the day... Were you catching them on the mobile app? I could speak for all Pokemon fans where they wanted to see more battles and more training. And so yeah. this is more of like a mystery thing. Or, right. It's all but it was that. still a good movie. It wasn't bad. See, now, I think that, that they need to take more of those story lines. Like, you know, it, that, that thing, that story, I don't even know what it is, but from what I could see is them in the city and this and that. Like, it should just be him on an adventure finding these creatures in the wild and trying to capture them. Absolutely. I agree 100%. It would have been... And and if you made it to where it was scary, like it was like he's going into the woods and it was dark and there was some creature that came out and him and Pikachu had a fight for their lives and capture this. But that wasn't the premise of this movie. But what I'm saying is that would have been a way better... It was a father-son... Bond. Right. How but what I'm you. saying is I want to go back to Jeff's favorite movie of the Turtles and more movies like that that give you that realistic adventure and it's and not feeling. gonna happen gonna because like Pokemon? all, Don't all these movie producers it's not gonna happen. So all they want to do is make fucking money. And That's it's it. easier to make CGI. Like let's right. talk about one and of my cheaper. favorite movies of all time, Inception. That movie Never would have been made if Christopher Nolan didn't get approved because he made the Batman movie. Yep. That's the only reason that movie got greenlit. And now, would that look anything better if they were in L.A. in a studio with just making a room and CGI? In the but Inception, would you agree, is one of the best movies it's of all time? Movie. It's so, fucking yes. phenomenal. Yes. It's the so The only awesome. reason they greenlit it is because of how the good the Batman movie did. Yeah. 
and they're like, okay, we trust you. Right, that's you what I'm saying. You can make this movie. Well, like, all right, hold There's on. no risk in things. Hollywood anymore. What are they doing? Stranger Things is such a good show, and it's they're, they're already saying, well, we're going to end it sooner because they don't want to drag it out. Because if, if this they end it now, the next thing that they do, they're going to get paid big time, and they're going to get do something else. Yeah, it's going to go fucking south. Right, and it's not going to be as good as Stranger Things. So Stranger Things, still one of my favorite shows. I don't think... Are you caught up, Sean? No? I would actually have to watch it to get caught up. See? <laughs> How dare you? You He's haven't watched it? It's no, and hold on. Shut series. the fuck up. Dylan, you... Oh, no, wait. No, you did say you watched it. I he just said it was a solid no, 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 no. series. Alt- Altered Carbon. Altered watched Carbon. it. Solid. Do you know that... Netflix is taking over slowly. Haven't watched did it. Did you know that they came out and announced that haven't they're making it. season two we of Altered Carbon? We talked about the last podcast. They are yes. making a season two? It's, a, it's confirmed. Season That's two. Solid. I wanted to break it down to you. So, Sean, get on season one and watch this. It's good. You need to binge it. It is it's the best good. show. So fucking good. All right. When they when it comes out with 26 Alter hours Carbon in a day, I can my do this. <laughs> You're closer. Jerk Sean's dick off for being a fuckhole right now. Come here, Sean. Did you guys watch uh, Breaking Bad? There's oh. a Breaking Bad movie on Netflix now. It. Wow. See? Really? Well, I don't think it's out yet. I haven't watched But I all. saw the trailer. There's a Breaking Bad movie. Yeah. It, yeah I, El Camino, it's called. Yes. See, that's what I'm I saying. can't wait. Shit like that's cool. That's Netflix a fucking great cool show. Things. Netflix is killing it. The I want to see the Dolomite the shit on there is awesome. See, the problem is, all right. So Netflix has great series, great movies, but everybody is taking their shit back. So like, yeah, you can cancel. Have all you their can shit. cancel cable, and then you can do the Netflix shit if you want. But now there's going to be so many subscriptions. Netflix, Hulu, Apple Disney TV. Plus, yeah, ESPN, and Plus. then there, I seen a bunch of previews for Apple TV. So you're yeah. going to need, so it's like you're going to spend even Sony more than you would on just cable. Much money. Yes. PlayStation TV. But eventually it's all going to be streaming. So Disney's taking you. all their shit off of Netflix yeah. and they're going to have their own their streaming own shit. Disney Plus. Yep. All I see is really? fucking Apple TV Plus fucking movies. So the, the bundle package for Disney, Hulu, and ESPN Plus is like 15 bucks a month. Yeah, then, yeah. then add $15 a month on for fucking Netflix. Yeah. So you're at 30 now. Then add uh, Hulu. An, another Hulu is going to be in the Disney if Plus. If you do package. Hulu Live, yeah. it's like forty five. Yeah, yeah, you're wow. still. Yeah, you might as well be Amazon Live, basic cable. Amazon right. TV. Well, I mean, Amazon, you get with Prime, which is a great yeah. deal. Yes, absolutely. Because you're also Amazon's free shipping, right? Dude. Which we just taking over the Amazon, world. which mass- massive. Next week's podcast, we're going to talk about a movie that I'm making Jeff watch. Ooh, I did hear about this. Ooh. I'm going to watch it too. We're, Here's a tease. Now I got to watch we're, it. We're, we're going to watch the movie yesterday. I'm a huge Beatles fan. Which is, it's a great movie because it's, dude gets hit by a bus after all the power in the world goes out for like 10 seconds, wake, wakes up in the hospital, and the Beatles were never the Beatles. Oh, yeah. I saw the previews to this. So it we're going to watch this. So he's it. the only one that knows about the Beatles, right? So he's the... He's the only person that knows about the Beatles. You got to wait to watch the movie. I can't he wait. Can't wait. I love it. Yeah. So uh, hold on. Hold on. We're not watching this, Jeff, with Sean until he watches Alter Carbon. Then you're never going <clears> to <throat> see a great fucking movie. Oh, you're never going to watch Alter Carbon? You're never going to see a great season then. Listen, the movie's two hours. Alter Carbon's how many episodes? Eight. Eight or. That's eight hours. Ugh. Yeah, I'm but there's sorry. hot so Spanish much. titties. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and so with that being said, hot Spanish titties is how we're going to close Ooh. out this week. So for Jeff, for Frankie, for our guest Dylan, thanks for coming on, bud. I am Sean. It's been a pleasure as always. Thanks for having me. No problem, bud. We will see you next week from here at the Gentleman's Den. Go get drunk and finger blast a midget. Woo. Bear down. Bear down.